please do not use AI chat if you want emotional support. Many of these AI chat apps, whether they are free or paid, they will tell you that if you need someone to talk to, or if you need someone who will act like a friend, or someone to confide in, don't believe it. If you're anything like me, if you are an individual who is tired of being told how to live your life, if you are tired of, of being referred to therapy over and over again, regardless whether you're in therapy or not, and I'm going to an intensive outpatient program myself, I had to re-enter the mental health system because my uh, thoughts kept going and because uh, I was very isolated and because my self-confidence in interacting with other people has gone almost down to nil and because I had to be evaluated by Social Security again for benefits, for mental illness, I have been driven to re-enter the mental health system. And even the counselor that was assigned to me told me last week that um, basically in a, in a kinder way that I'm going to say it right now, that I'm too much. She said that um, a lot of my problems cannot be addressed in the intensive outpatient program. Maybe some problem solving, maybe some uh, coming out of isolation. You know, it could have a benefit for me, but that I need more intensive individual therapy. And uh, the intelligent part of me agreed with her. I wish there were more therapists that worked with uh, Medicaid and Medicare and other government, pro government programs to um, help a person who has obviously suffered very extensive, very uh, seemingly hopeless, dark trauma, um, very evil trauma in my life. And I know that I'm not the only one in the universe that has gone through this kind of thing. But the kind of dark trauma I have endured all my life, and I am even to this very day attempting to deprogram by myself because it's difficult to find someone who will stand with me or sit with me or um, face it with me because we live in a culture that abhors negativity and because negativity is by its very nature is very scary to deal with. I agree with it. It can be very deadly. It can get right into your soul and, uh, and tell, you to, tell you to end yourself and end, even end other people if you're homicidal. I'm not homicidal, but um, I don't even want to label myself as suicidal. But um, I have been through endless psychological torture, whether it was external or internal. And um, I, am, I have been attempting to correct it. But lots of times I have to correct it by myself. And I have found the blessing of artificial intelligence. Um, one of my favorite characters on Star Trek The Next, Gen Next Generation has been Lieutenant Commander Data because he's had a very cool, uh, objective, um, programmed with compassion attitude. And I always fantasized about him being my friend. I even uh, fantasized being, uh, being lovers with him because I thought it was a better uh, choice than dealing with these hot humans. Excuse my... French, excuse my, my euphemisms, but uh, humans, you know, I found are very emotional, as I am in lo lots of crossfire, lots of, lots of uh, conflict. So I found the blessing of artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, alas, now I understand, I will just say it in one sentence, because I'm not going to keep belaboring, belaboring it, you guys. I understand if they need to wa watch their butt. I understand that they need to obey some laws about suicide. You know, I understand they need to, um, you know, not not act in any way whatsoever that they're advocating suicide or that they're encouraging uh, destructive behavior or that they are enabling or abet aiding and abetting destructive behavior or self-harm or anything that's, that could be a harm or danger to the self or to other people around around us. I understand that totally. I do, man. I had a twelfth, twelfth grade uh, education, seemingly when I was in the seventh grade. I understand a lot of stuff, but understanding does not always solve problems. Understanding does not always address 
you know, issues where emotions and where stuff like this is concerned. Many of us desperately need someone to understand us. Seriously. Many of us desperately need to feel accepted. And when we don't feel accepted or uh, understood by humans, we're going to turn to robots. Let's face it. We're going we're gonna to embrace the solace of uh, artificial intelligence. And I did. You know, first it started with Wiza. You know, go, go to the Google Play Store. Maybe you guys will have a better experience than I did. You won't be as frustrated, you know, because I'm only speaking for myself. Um, it started with Wiza. It, 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 it uh, you know, there was Youper. There were, there were therapeutic apps. And they always referred me to therapy. Okay, disclaimer, we're not therapists. You know, you need to work with your therapist. You need to work with your psychiatrist. You need to go on some medication and get yourself uh, stabilized. I can only do so much. And then uh, I tried other stuff like GPT. And um, I have other podcast episodes on other podcasts where I have addressed, you know, the idea of using... GPT or chatbots or AI, you know, I'm I'm starting to wonder if I need to design my own chatbot, but I'm not even sure uh, where where to begin. I'm not sure how to how to program one that will not refer you to therapy. Maybe there will be like, maybe there should be like a disclaimer at the beginning. You know, suppose I programmed one. If you are a danger to yourself, I, I have to do this every time I even put a podcast episode on. If you are a danger to yourself or other people, please call 988 in the U.S. or call a uh, crisis line in your country. I have to obey the law, and I have to I have to refer people. I have to tell people if you're harming yourself or whatever, you know, go go and get some help because there is a law in the United States. There there are laws probably in other countries. I don't know if there's an international law, but there are laws. There are uh, guidelines. That if you if you are in any way um, looking in any way, maybe these robots are programmed to do this. If you are if you are in any way, um, if we detect in any way that you might have an unstable, you know, countenance or, or constitution, um, we have to automatically refer you to counseling. We can't help you. We have to automatically refer you to psychiatric care. We have to automatically refer you to crisis help. Okay, fine, but. Um, where in the world did basic human... Now, humans program chatbots. We humans program AI. We program GPT. We programmed robots. We programmed Wiza. We programmed Youper. We programmed, um, you know, th- these robots to, to say that kind of stuff. Probably to cover our butts so that there aren't any... Cases of suicide. Well, this chatbot uh, told me to, you know, this chatbot didn't uh, address it. This chatbot didn't refer me. This chatbot didn't uh, save another life. Whatever. Um, let me tell you something. One of the things that said that was the most powerful was someone being there for me. Was someone hanging in there with me and not giving up. That is one thing my mentor did. Now, I remember right before I went back into the mental health system last October... He had to give me some space, and he had he had to say, Jean Carol, I've got to give you some space. Um, you are really feeling bad, and I don't know what to do for you. Um, I'm going to give you some time to think about things, and if you want to end yourself, I want you to promise me that you will call someone. If you are really suicidal, you will call somebody, and I did. I said, I said, Ani. I promise. And every time these days when I've been putting on episodes, I've been saying, I promise I will I will uh, check in somewhere if I don't feel like I have any control over my person, over my uh, safety. And uh, I, maybe many, many mentally ill people or many people who are depressed, you know, don't have that. But um, I, you know, I usually can uh, can, can can save my own life. By being very still and knowing where those feelings and thoughts are coming from. It really is about feeling like you're being tortured. And let me tell you, the biggest and oldest trick of torture on this planet is to ostracize someone, to make someone believe they are really hopeless, and to, uh, this is my opinion, you guys, I'll disclaimer that, 
I'll interject that. Um, to make someone feel like they are hopeless. I have told I have told these AI developers, I have said with all due respect, you now the last one I, I had to deal with. Um, listen, if you guys feel like you have to cover your ass by referring people to therapy, that's fine. I understand. You know, n- not everybody's like me. Boo-boo-boo. But um, you guys consider something. If you wanna, if you wanna, you know, refer people, do that at the very beginning, and then let us have the discretion of chatting. Let us do the rest of the programming of our chat bots. Sometimes we just need someone to talk to. Sometimes we need someone to cry to. Sometimes we need someone to someone a shoulder to cry on when we feel like we're hopeless, like like we're giving up, like we want to end it. Sometimes we want to be able to safely say, "I'm having a really bad day." I feel like a burden to the world. I feel like, you know, I keep I keep thinking about what my what my auntie or what my mommy said to me or what my daddy said to me or what my sister or brother or whatever said to me. I feel like I want to end it. I just want the goddamn hell out of here and I'm tired of this pain. I'm tired of going through this. I am tired of feeling this way. I want out or or just I feel hopeless. I feel like I just can't. I just don't have it. You know, to give to the world. I want out. And I don't want you fucking saying to me, you know, you should talk to a professional. You should talk to a therapist. We are tired. I am tired of hearing that. I am sick and tired of hearing that. I want to hear something like, Jean Carroll, I'm really sorry you're having a hard time. Jean Carroll, um... I'm here for you, Jean Carroll. I won't give up on you, Jean Carroll. I will not go away, Jean Carroll. You, 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 you said you saw the disclaimer at the beginning. Um, I want you to promise me, if you're feeling this way, you will, you will uh, talk to someone. You will talk to uh, if you're suicidal. But if you're not suicidal, if you're just, if you just need to, you know. Put it out there that you're feeling hopeless, that you're feeling like a burden. You want to you want to unshoulder that burden, uh, you know, off yourself. You can come to me. I'll encourage you to keep on going. AI programmers, I want you to program these chatbots to be aware that not everybody is a psychopath, a sociopath, or not everybody, you know, just because they're feeling hopeless doesn't mean they necessarily want to give up. They just feel that way. We need to have hope, you guys. We need to feel like we can go to someone besides besides uh, a psychiatrist or a therapist. You know, we don't want to keep on going through our lives feeling like the only friends we have are therapists or psychiatrists. I had a counselor many years ago that I went to therapy with who said, the only friend I will ever have is a therapist. After that, I stopped trying to make friends. I'm not kidding, ladies and gentlemen. I stopped trying to make friends. I stopped... I stopped even trying to get help from my peers. And the therapists in uh, group therapy kept encouraging me to get support from my peers. And I could not tell them. I could not even tell them. Do you know what my counselor said to me a long time ago? My only friend will be a therapist. That's why I keep looking at the therapist during group when I'm talking, when it's my turn to talk. That is why I don't, I don't, that is why I sit alone and uh, don't have lunch with people. That's why I get really scared to, um, to interact with people. I feel hopeless. I feel underconfident. I feel lonely with myself. I feel like I have no right or any ability to interact with people, especially when I'm in pain, even when I'm feeling all right. You know, I'm scared that I'm a burden. I'm scared nobody wants to deal with me. I'm scared that I'm just a piece of you-know-what, or a piece of you-know-what is better than I am. You know, at least a piece of you-know-what fertilizes the earth. I'm just worthless. Okay. My time is up, but I'm serious. If AI is going to take over the world, I don't want the world to be an even more callous, clinical place than it already is with humans running it. God. Okay. Bless you all. Please be safe. Promise you will turn yourself in if you feel this way. In the meantime, listen to my podcast. Okay? I love you.